Chances are, if you're part of the Wanhao Duplicate I3 group, that you've already seen some of my prints, some of these tiny ones anyway. These are my mini prints that I do before I put anything up. And this guy here is the Hi-Wiz DI cooler. And you've probably seen my printer in action and my touchscreen um, controller that allows me to watch my prints or make any changes I like to it. But you probably, what you probably haven't seen yet is that guy down there. You might ask yourself, what's that? I call it the AIU, the all-inclusive unit. And I'll explain what that means to you in just a second. Let's unlock this baby. Alright. This guy is working perfectly. You can't see the screen really. Let me see if I can get that to show to you guys. Perfect. Um, but I've got a switch that turns on and off the Pi. A switch that turns on and off the whole printer. Basically a kill switch. That's why I have the skull. Um, the Wan Hao logo. A uh, power LED. Some tester LEDs and I've also got USBs that let me uh, attach to the printer if I uh, do need let's say a repetier host um, that's one of them and the other one attaches directly to the Pi so I never have to actually open this to get into either one of those two um, the rest of the printer is pretty much the same but what's in this guy is an ATX uh, PSU which lets me power all these guys at the same time they're all on the same power supply. Um, I have another video that I'm going to also put on my channel and that's going to show the insides of this guy. But for now I just wanted to make a video show you guys the whole thing put together and the fact that it works. Printing some Maker Geeks PEG right now. I don't know if you guys can see that either. There's the pet G. It's turning out pretty good. That's a raft there because uh, this particular print requires a raft in order to come out and good. Um, anyway, that's it. I just wanted you guys uh, to see the newest member of this printer family. And before you ask yourself, why would you get rid of the controller box? I should have probably said this at the beginning. But this guy is universal. Which means that if I ever do get rid of this guy or take it out and put a different printer in, all I have to do is switch out the LCD. All the electronics, all the wiring inside, everything. It's all universal. I can make it work with anything. Um, and you'll see that again in my other video. I'll put a link for it. Um, anyway, I uh, hope you guys like this. Um, I, I don't know how likely it is that anyone else will do the exact same thing. But at least maybe it will give you guys some ideas. Okay. Y'all have a good day.